Welcome back everyone. In this lesson, we are gonna finally be moving our platform up and down, okay? Now, in terms of um, how advanced this is gonna be, it's gonna be quite a bit more advanced than what we've done previously, but we're gonna go step by step and have a look at how it is done, okay? So, first of all, uh, what we need to do is have our script open right here, and I want you to go ahead and delete all of the code that you've currently uh, written, if there is anything, okay? So make a nice blank file, and we can begin. So first of all, what we need to do is access our parent part, okay? The moving platform. We need to access this. And we went over this in the previous lesson. All we need to do is go script.parent to access it. But in this case, we are going to assign this to a variable, okay? So every time we want to access the parent part, we don't have to go script.parent, okay? Because that's going to make our code uh, longer than it needs to be. So what I'm going to do is put this into a variable, and I'm going to go local part equals script.parent. So now whenever we write down the word part, this is basically going to be referencing our script.parent. So we can go part.position, for example, and we can modify the position that way. All right, nice and easy. Next, what we need to do is access something known as a tween service. Now, a tween service, okay, there's two words there, tween and service. Tweening is basically uh, in programming and in game development, the act of basically moving or rotating an object over time, okay? Animating an object to move to one position to another or rotate to one position or rotate to another uh, rotation, for example. And what we're going to be doing is using tweening in order to move an object up and down, okay? And a service in uh, Roblox here is basically um, something that is on the server side and it basically allows us to uh, do certain things, okay? For example, we have the player service, uh, we have our team service, we have our chat service, our localized service, sound service. There's basically a lot of different services that we can access. And the tween service is going to be what allows us to set up these tweens. So what I'm going to do is assign it to a variable. I'm going to go local. I'm going to call this one tween service. And this is going to be equal to game. Now, when we write down game, this is basically accessing the utmost of the hierarchy. Okay, This is accessing the entire game that we're currently in. We then want to put in a colon and we want to write down get service, okay? And get service requires basically a name for the service, okay? So game colon get service with a capital G and a capital S. And then inside of the two parentheses here, we need to give it a string of the service name. Now, if you put down the two uh, quotation marks, you can see that a list of all these different services pop up. And you can see that with Roblox, there is a very large number of them. Now, the service we need is going to be the tween service like so, okay? It should pop up in the list when you're typing it down, so you can just hit enter to autofill it like so. And this is going to access the tween service, which is going to allow us to move this object over time. So, then what we need to do is go down to a new line, and we are going to create another local variable, and this variable is going to contain the information about our tween, okay? Because we need to define things such as how long is it going to take to move between the two positions? Uh, do we want to smooth in? Do we want, to, do we want it to have uh, repeating action? So does it want to bounce back and forth? And also, what is the delay? Uh, of when it reaches the end to returning the start. You know, is it going to wait there for a couple seconds, then keep moving? This is all the things that we need to define in the tween info. So for this, we're going to go local. I'm going to call this one tween info equals tween info. So capital T, capital I, and then go dot new. And then inside of two parentheses, we need to define some values that we need to basically assign to this tween. The first number is going to be how long is this platform going to take to move from one position to another, okay? In our case, let's just say it's going to take three seconds, okay? So to move from bottom to top, it's going to take three seconds. So I'm going to write 3.0 for three seconds, put a comma, and as you can see, what pops up is a uh, text basically defining all the properties or the parameters that we need to give it, okay? Parameters are basically uh, values that we feed into a function, which this is a function. 
And so we've got the time. Next, we need the easing style. And the easing style is basically, um, is it going to be smooth? Is it going to be linear? Is it going to be uh, random, for example? Now, we want it to just be moving up and down, you know, as normal. So we're going to go enum dot easing style. Whoop, easing style dot. And as you can see here, we have a bunch. We have circular, cubic, elastic, linear, quad, quart, quint. Uh, I'm just going to choose linear, okay? So it's going to be moving up and down at the exact same speed. We can put another comma now, and we need to define the easing direction, okay? I'm going to go enum dot easing direction dot out. Okay, we just want it moving nice and straight along a single direction. Next, we need to find the repeat count. So how many times is this tween going to repeat itself? Now, we want to repeat itself, you know, for as long as the game is active, so we can enter in a large number, such as 999,000 million, for example, whatever you want, but a much easier way is to add negative one. And this basically means that it's gonna run forever. Okay, another comma. We need to assign a true or false value for if it's going to be reversing or not. Now we want it to reverse, so we're gonna add in true. And finally, another comma, and this is going to be the delay time, okay? So once it reaches the end, how long is it gonna wait there before going back to the start? Now, let's say we want it to be 0.2 seconds, okay? So it's only gonna stay there for a fraction of a second and then move back. So that is our tween information set up, okay? There's a lot of things here. Uh, next up, what we need to do is assign the actual tween, okay? We need to actually create this tween because right now we've just created basically the data or the information for this tween. Now what we need to do is basically tell it, okay, we want you to apply this tween here to this specific part and we want you to move it to this specific position, okay? Let's do that now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go local tween equals tween service. So we are accessing this variable right here. We then want to go uh, colon create and we need to give it a few variables first of all we need to give it the actual part that we want to be tweening okay in our case that's going to be the script dot parent which we've assigned to the part variable here so we can just enter in part like so so that is the thing that we want to be moving next we need to give it a tween info so we'll send over the tween info right here then what we want to do is give it a position to move to. Now, the position that we want it to move to is basically going to be this part's existing position plus, uh, you know, 20 or so meters up in the air. So for this, what we need to do is add in two squiggly brackets like so. And what we're gonna do here is just go position with a capital P equals part dot position plus uh, vector three dot new and then two more parentheses here, and we need to find a vector to add to our position. Now, it's gonna be zero on the X, 20 on the Y, and zero on the Z, okay? So basically, what we're doing here is assigning the position, or the tween position, so where we want it to tween to, to basically be our part's existing position plus 20 in the air, okay? 20 vertically, okay? So it's gonna be moving directly up, and then when it once it reaches that, it's gonna move down back to its origin, okay? And finally, after all of this, we just need to go tween colon play, okay? Just like that, two parentheses at the end, and that is going to play the tween. So this is the code right here, okay? Uh, it can be quite confusing, I do understand that, but uh, that is how we can tween an object up and down. So save that, press play, and if we look over at our platform now, we should see that it is moving up and down, which it is. Let's hop into server mode and we can see that the platform is moving up and back down. And you can see when it reaches the bottom, it waits 0.2 seconds and then moves back up again. So yeah, as you can see, it's got the origin position at the bottom and then it is moving 20 up into the air. Once it reaches that point, it goes back down and it basically just keeps on doing that forever since we did assign the repeat count to be negative one. Okay, so... That is our moving platform set up and ready to go. You can, of course, add in multiple more if you wish. Um, but yeah, basically that is the obstacle course uh, set up for Roblox. You can, of course, add in many more checkpoints, many more different platforms. Um, but overall, that is how you set up a obstacle course with checkpoints, platforms, and moving platforms uh, in your Roblox game.
Now, in the next lesson, we are gonna be going over how we can actually publish this publicly so we can then play our game. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all then in the next lesson.